This is Chess 5.0, yet another chess update, which is great if you want something new to play as it adds a ton of new pieces, changes some rules, and has a new board, or actually a couple boards, which is a special feature of this update and it makes the game a lot more complicated, so watch till the end to find out what it is. But first let's create the new pieces, and we're gonna begin with the king. So the new king moves the same way as a normal king, and the name stays the same too, because it's just good the way it is. Now, in normal chess you have to checkmate the king to win, but in this update you're gonna have to capture it, so there are no checks or stalemates in chess 5.0. And I also changed its icon so it looks like this now, it's kind of like a pumpkin. The king won't be able to castle unfortunately, but anyways, we've got the king done. And by the way we have a whole list of pieces that are in chess 5.0, some of them are just a modification of the original pieces, and some of them are completely new. As you can see the next piece is the pawn, which we had to include here as it's a crucial element of the chess game. So the pawn is a very characteristic piece that often dictates the structure of the board, and so I didn't want to change it that much as otherwise it wouldn't feel like a chess update, but a completely different game. I actually changed only two things about our pawn, its icon, the pawn looks thinner now, and the second thing is in its movement, here's exactly what I changed. So the new pawn will still be able promote, it'll still move forwards and take diagonally, but this time it'll also move diagonally. That's the only difference in its movement. Okay, that all being said I think we can mark the new pawn and king is done, let's go to the next piece, which is a modification of the knight piece from chess 1.0. This piece is called the centaur, which is a combination of human and a horse by the way, and its icon looks exactly like a real centaur, it's not very pretty but whatever, let's take a look at how it moves. So as I said it's a combination of a horse, and a human, and we gotta stick to this statement when it comes to its movement. Okay so the horse movement is something I don't think you need explanation for, we're just gonna take the knight movement because it looks like a horse, and there are no humans in chess, so we have to come up with our own human. And here it is, the chess human, it's not very powerful because humans are not meant to be powerful, they are meant to be smart. Anyways the human just moves two squares diagonally. Alright, now that we know how the horse and the human move we can combine those movements into one piece, which equals to centaur. Nice, we are halfway done with the pieces, and remember after creating all of those we will create the special feature of this update. Now let's go on to the fourth piece of this update, the pig. First of all, just look at it, it's really cute. Here is the black version, and it's real cute as well, it has to be the best looking piece in this whole update, but anyways, let's discuss how it moves. So here we have our pig on the board, and it has quite a unique movement honestly, because it moves differently depending on if it's going forwards or backwards, kind of like a pawn, which doesn't move backwards. Alright so for the forwards movement, it moves like a knight, and for the backwards movement it moves like a bishop, quite cool. Now let's go to the next piece, which is actually very strong, its name is the tank, and this is what it looks like. There's something different about the tank though, and it's the fact that it has two extra lives. A life basically makes a piece respawn if it's captured, so our tank will be able to respawn twice, that's pretty strong. Besides the lives the tank moves like a queen, so beware of this piece when you play against it. Okay, 5 out of 6 pieces done, after creating the last piece we'll talk about the multiple board thingy I talked about in the beginning. Although at first we gotta actually do this piece so let's go. Alright so this piece is called Knight Rider 2 Bishop, it is a weird name, I know, but let me explain. So our last piece contains two pieces, Knight Rider 2 and a Bishop, and just so you know Knight Rider 2 simply moves like a knight, but twice in the same direction. Coming back to the actual piece it doesn't just combine movements of those two pieces, it alternates between them. Meaning that at first, it moves like a knight rider 2 and the bishop is inactive, but after it moves, the bishop is in charge and the piece moves diagonally, with knight rider 2 being now inactive. Now the turns have tabled, didn't they buddy? Yeah I guess they did. Alright, we finished making all the pieces. And that leads us to the second part of this update, the boards change. So as I promised we're now gonna change the board of chess 5.0, but as I also said it's not gonna be just one board, there will be multiple boards in this chess update, and here's exactly how it's going to look like. So, in chess 5.0 there will be two boards by default, both of them will be 8x8 eight eight squares, the first one will have all the pieces we created on it, set just like in normal chess, and the second board will have a different setup, which we will create later. Okay but simply playing on two chess boards would be weird, don't you think? Exactly, and let me tell you these boards actually have a custom rule which makes them connected. The Alice Chess. But what is this Alice Chess? Well the Alice Chess is a chess variant, in which there are two boards, and when a piece moves on one of them, it goes to the other board. 
although there are some rules you can't forget about. First is that the square you want to move to must be empty, even if there's an opposite color piece there, you can't take it, the square must be empty. Second is that the move must be legal on the first board, and lastly the taking takes place on the first board as well, obviously. Alice Chess makes the game a lot different compared to normal chess, when you play it you think you're in control of the situation, but you really aren't, you'll have to check it out by yourself, but going back to chess 5.0 you can actually choose how many boards you want to play with, you can play with from 1 to 4 boards, and if you choose one board you just play without the Alice Chess feature, and if you play with 3 or 4 boards for more chaos, the 3rd and 4th boards are empty, with the pieces going to the following boards as they move, in the end going back to the first board. Great. I hope now you understand Alice Chess. There is one thing left to explain though, the second board setup. So, on the second board there will be 8 of our new pawns, placed like this, forming a bunker for the pieces inside. What are those pieces you may ask, and let me tell you there are 4 more new pieces in there, all of which we will create right now. Starting with the shielded bishop, a very simple yet cool piece, which looks, well, like a bishop with a shield. But anyways how is this piece different from a normal bishop? Let's start with the fact that the shielded bishop moves exactly like the normal one. The only difference is in its shield, which actually protects him from one capture. So basically it has one extra life. Look, the bishop is here on the second board. The third piece on this board is called an immobilizer, which moves like a normal queen, but has a special ability, that we're gonna talk about in a moment. Alright, so let's take a look at this piece. Do you notice anything? Exactly, it is can't move written on it, and that's what Immobilizer's ability is all about. It makes other pieces unable to move, opponent pieces to be exact. Although it doesn't affect every single unfriendly piece, obviously, it only affects the pieces around it. I think this is a great addition, Immobilizer's ability is pretty unique and can twist the game in an interesting way. Alright, having done the Immobilizer let me show the last two pieces of Chess 5.0, they will be a little less complicated, as I think we had enough complication in here. So the Llama is our next piece, here is how its icon looks like, and I have to say Llama is very similar to the Pig, not only in a sense that they are both animals, but also in their movements, because looking at the Pig, its movement was different depending on the direction. Same as for the Llama, it moves like a knight going upwards into the sides, but going down it moves like a rook. Quite an unorthodox combination I gotta say. So the llama's done. And that means we can create the last piece of this video, the viking. The viking moves in an interesting way, it moves like a knight, but additionally to that it goes horizontally. That's basically it when comes to the viking. And it took a long time but I can officially say that chess update 5.0 is finished. As always you can play this update on my website chesstraps.org, and I'll see you in the next video I guess.